Well, hello everyone. Those of you joining right now. Hello, teacher. Hi, welcome. Welcome. Okay. Let me get the attendance here. How was your day today? Everything good? Yes. Everything uh, great? But it's raining. <laughs> okay. It's starting to rain, huh? Teacher, where do you live? Excuse me? Where do, Where I do live? you live? I live in San Miguel. Ah, oh, okay. I was born, born in San Salvador, but living in San Miguel right now. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. And you? I live in Santa Ana. Santa Ana, okay, that's pretty. Oh yeah, you said it, you said it the other day. Yeah, it's. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, Santa Ana. It's nice. Yes. I visited Santa Ana before, and it's nice. I I remember when I went to Santa Ana to the cathedral. Yes. The cathedral. Where I took a picture. Right. So it's nice outside. Stayed uh stayed there overnight, and then I went to. I did like a little tour. Right, uh, I took a tour from my uh, in my own country. Right, <laughs> and went to Lago de Guatepec and uh, la, las uh, what's that? Las ruinas de what is Tazumal? Yes. Yeah, I went there also. So it was it was nice, great experience. I went there. I've never I had never been there, so I, I went. I decided to go. So I drove all with Google Map uh, ways. <laughs> <laughs> so I went there and I went for like a five day trip around, you know, all over El Salvador. Went to La Libertad, Los Chorros, the, La Ruina Esa de Tazumal. It was nice, great experience. Let me see. I like the uh, Quatepec Lake. I really enjoyed that. It was nice. Got on the jet skis, los yes. water skis. Yeah, I got on that. It was nice. It was nice. But it's been raining here lately also. It's been raining pretty heavy. Let me see. Let me take the attendance. Okay. Um, all right, let me see. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's begin. I'm going to take the attendance. This we're going to begin unit four. Okay, unit four. And we are going to basically focus on things of traveling, right? Traveling. Basically hotel vocabulary and it's very short, a lot of the content here. 
So I have added more content. Les he agregado más contenido para enriquecer este tema, ¿ok? Because I really enjoy it. Right? Me encanta este tema de, de turismo, right? And I like to travel, me personally, right? Yo soy una persona que me gusta viajar. So I like to visit different places. You know, he ido fuera del país, United States, in uh, Costa Rica. So I've been to many places, incluso en nuestro país here in El Salvador. Um, and let me see. Okay, Jose Argueta, no problem. And it, it, it helps you understand many cultures. And this pandemic, this pandemic, pues, lastimosamente me ha bloqueado un poco, right? It has, it has kept me at home, basically, but it's always good to travel and enjoy your vacations, enjoy the outdoors. There are many places in this country, many places in El Salvador that you can go. Okay, there are many places, many lakes. Cuatepec uh, Lake is very nice. Okay, les recomiendo subirse en los, en los jet skis. Yeah, right? En los esquís ahí en el lago, it's very nice. But we are going to focus on a lot of the vocabulary. A lot of vocabulary in relation to hotels and traveling. A lot of the vocabulary that pertains to this tourism. It's not so much tourism, but yo sí lo puedo tomar como turismo, porque es viajando. Right? It's to travel and enjoy yourself and learn the proper vocabulary when you travel. For example, when you go to a hotel, the things that you have to carry with you, the types of traveling. For example, you might go by car, plane, or or bus, right? Or bus. And it's it's always good to know. It's always good to know. Uh, let me see. Tengo chat. Right. So I hope you gave a little bit of review to the unit. Espero le hayan dado un repasadito a la unidad. And can you, can someone tell me the topic, el tema de esta unidad of unit four? Can someone give me the topic? Does someone know the topic, the main topic, tema principal? Travel plans. Very good. Travel plans, that is correct, right? Planes de viaje, right? So here we're talking about travel plans. Let me see. At the end, if we have time today, I would like to do a speaking activity for, for the rest of you, well, for everyone here, and I would like for you to express or talk about a situation or a time in your life, un punto de su vida, or recently, last year, five years ago, right, before the pandemic or now, and express your your stories about traveling. How many of you have traveled outside of El Salvador? ¿Quiénes han viajado fuera del Salvador? Outside of El Salvador. Me, Guatemala. All right, great. So, I would like, for example, okay, Johnny said Guatemala, right? At the end of this, if we have time, like I said earlier, you're going to talk for like a minute, a minute, brief, breve, right? Briefly about your experience, okay? What did you do, right? Que fue lo que hicieron? Where did you go? In one minute. Cerra todo in one minute. Okay, Johnny said Guatemala. Anyone else? It could be here in El Salvador too. Si no salió del país, pues ni siquiera fuera de su, de su lugar de... de Donde viven, right? Maybe somewhere like, for example, you might live in San Salvador and you went to um, El Cerro de Conchagua. Has anyone ever been there? ¿Alguno de ustedes han ido ahí? Lisette? No, teacher, no conozco. <laughs> okay. Has anyone been to Hasta Arriba del Cerro de Conchagua? No? 
No one? Mirador, Espíritu Santo. Yes, ah. exactly, right? Yo, yo subí eso eh, a pie. Una, took me casi dos horas, right? Climbing, but, right? Casi me muero, right? But huh, it was a good experience, right? It was, es una experiencia que quise hacer. Eh, I did it, ¿cuándo fue que lo hice? Eh, este año, en Semana Santa, te, right? So I did it this year and it took me about two hours, right? Sí que fue pesado, right? Eh, escalar es subir, pues, a pie. All right. Um, what about Lisset? Where have you been then, Lisset? Si no han ido con Chao, where, where have you been, right? No ha salido, tell me. Si no ha salido, inventen, entonces. Lisset. Picture. Okay. You have a picture here, right? You have a picture here on, um, right? Where is that? It's a photo. Where is that? One photo. <laughs> <laughs> the picture that you have, right? Where is that, right? Where is that? Let me see. Who, ¿Quién más tiene una foto que están como afuera? Let me see. Uh, okay, where is that? Let me see who else is here. Um, let me see. Efraín, are you here? I see Efraín. Efraín. Yes, teacher. Okay, I see a picture. I see a picture here. Where is that? You have a photo aquí también afuera, right? Where is that? And what is the picture? I don't remember what is. No, no, tu, los pictures de WhatsApp que tienes de. Oh, de... in WhatsApp. <laughs> ah, oh, ah, in WhatsApp. Oh. Carretera, carretera Panamericana. Ah. <laughs> Panorámica, perdón. Okay. Where is this at, Efraín? <laughs> there is in Puerto Rico. Vaya, Puerto Rico, right? Okay. Lisette, where did you say that picture is? Veo que está ahí, hay un, como, um, hay, wow, there's water, there's like land, bien bonito sí, el paisaje. hay una vista hermosa ahí, pero no me recuerdo bien exactamente el lugar. Ok. ¿Cómo se llama? Ok, maybe you can try to remember. Le voy, le voy a dar oportunidad que recuerde, vamos a ver. All right, so try to figure out because I like, I like, me gusta eso, eh, the outdoors, right? I like the, the outdoors, right? Anyone else? Let me see, we have Puerto Rico, anyone else, Guatemala, anyone else? Alguien más? Okay, let me see. Si no tienen un Conrado? Pues, El Salvador he ido a varios lugares. Okay, tell me one that you really enjoyed. One that you really enjoyed. En, en mi trabajo, por yeah. el trabajo. No, just in general, en general. No, oh, okay. Eh... Al Cerro Verde. Okay, you've been to Cerro Verde. Very good, very good. What uh, about anyone yeah. else? Lago de Coatepeque. Ah, uh, yes. Coatepeque Lake is very nice. I liked it. Yeah. Me encantó. Okay. All right, great, great. Anyone else? Anyone else that would like to share an experience? Remember, if you don't share it now, you're going to share it at the end when we finish here. Si no... Eligen un lugar, pues eh, inventen un lugar al final, right? You can say que fueron a España or wherever, and maybe you can Google a place. Pueden hacer, buscar en Google un lugar, and try to get something brief, porque de que lo van a hacer, lo van a hacer. Eh, en un minuto, speaking, okay? Where and what did you do? ¿Dónde y qué hicieron? Okay? That's going to be the two points at the end. So si lo quieren escribir, you can. Where and what? Where and what? Where did you go and what did you do? Okay. Let me see. And share. Share with us is going to be for one minute. The experience. The experience. La experiencia. En un minuto. Right? Now five seconds or cinco segundos. I went to, to Mexico and, and I went to Cancun. No, 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 tampoco. I want you to be creative. I want you to use adjectives describing 
what did you do? What did you do? Okay. Now, I'm going to take the attendance. Está la mayoría aquí. I'm going to take the attendance right now. Adela Trinidad González. Present. Thank you. Alejandro Antonio Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Eloisa Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Gerardo Efraín. Present. All right, thank you. Gustavo Montepec. Okay, no answer. Johnny. Present. Thank you. Jonathan. Present. All right, thank you. Do, 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 do. Jorge Argueta. Present. Okay, thank you. Jose Daniel Argueta. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Let me see. Jose David Rivera. Present, DJ. All right, thank you. Jose Santiago Escobar. Jose Santiago Escobar. Okay, no answer. Juan Jose Conrado. Present. Thank you. Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Okay. Um, Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Let me see. Oscar Coreas. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Oscar Ramirez. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Rosa Lisette. Present. Thank you. Vicky. Present teacher. Thank you. Victoria. Present. Okay. And Jessica. Present. All right. Thank you. Let's see one, two. All right. Okay, class. Let me see. Let me share screen so we can begin. Okay. We are going to begin unit four and unit four starts on page 30. Esta es la última unidad. This is the last unit. Okay. So I'm going to try to make it as interesting as possible because it's a totally different topic. Um, okay, can you read the topic, please? Um, Beatriz? Eloisa? Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Travel plans, hotel service, and how many? Vocabulary. Amenities. 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 Vocabulary. Very good, right? Hotel services and amenities. Amenities, eh, para algunos, si es palabra nueva, amenities is, is the, what services, los servicios que, that are provided by hotels, right? That you see when you, when you travel. For example, if you go to, to a place and they provide for example, Wi-Fi, uh, breakfast, right? Have you ever been to different hotels? Han ido a algunos diferentes hoteles. Some are small, some are big, right? What do they provide? The servicios, the, the amenities, right? What do they provide? Do they provide uh, toallas, um, Wi-Fi, those types of things? Soap, and how on, right? Parking security, those types of things. And among other things, ah, there are a lot of other things that you can enjoy when you go and visit hotels. Um, can someone share with the class any good experience that you have had when visiting a hotel? Again, anyone?
Have you ever visited a nice hotel when you travel? Cuando han ido a algún lugar y se han quedado en un hotel. And maybe you were like, yeah, this was nice hotel. They provided good services. Alguien puede compartir algo? Someone share something? An experience? Me teacher. Okay, Johnny. I went to Guatemala mm -hmm. in Las Americas Hotel. Okay, Las Americas Hotel. All right, great, great. It was nice. They provided good services. Yes. Uh, include the breakfast. Mm. Nice breakfast. Okay. Buffet. <laughs> All right, great, great. Awesome, awesome. Buffet, right? Buffet, all you can eat. <laughs> yes. Good food, good food. All right? you can eat. All you can eat, right? All right, great, great. Las America. Anyone else? Anyone else? Alguien más? Yes, teacher. Me. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Vicky? Um, the Monte Limar Hotel in Nicaragua. All right. Is very big on the <laughs> uh, edge of the beach. Ah. The hotel have a small so um, restaurant, big casino. Oh, uh, right. Oh, that's great. Oh, ya me trajo una memoria. Usted, you brought me a memory, right? <laughs> when you said casino. Oh, there, yes. All right, great. Have you? You know, I want to share this with you. I went um, on a casino many years ago, eh, ahí por, uh, por Nueva Orleans, New Orleans, in the United States. Uno va en, bar en barco y se va en eh, Lake Charles, al lago Charles. Eh, the casinos, and the, it's a boat. Es un barco, pero es un casino, right? So not only are you going on a boat, but it's a casino. And it was like, all oh, right, so it's a great experience. So you brought that memory, Vicky. All right. Thank you for bringing me that memory, right? It's a memory. I keep it here. Right? Excellent. Anyone else? Anyone else? Alguien más that would like to share with the class a good experience at a hotel? No one? Let me see. Coreas? Have you ever been to a nice hotel or any hotel here? A house? Hay casas que la hacen como hoteles and they're nice. No, teacher. No? No he tenido la oportunidad. Ok. Let me see. Eloisa. No, teacher. Ok. Let me see. Lisette. The Hotel Bahía del Sol. Ah, ok. Ok. Um, the Cameron también. Oh, yes. The camera, right? Nice, nice. How is the Cameron? Beautiful. I've never been to the Cameron. Yo si nunca he ido ahí, yes. I've never been there, right? I was going to go uh, last year, but the pandemic, right? But I had planned to go last year, but I was like, no, no, pandemic is too bad over there. But I've never been to the Cameron. Eso sí puedo decir que nunca he ido a the Cameron. But soon, pronto, I will be. Do you recommend it, Lisa? Lo recomienda. Yes. yes? Okay. All right, great. Yes. Excellent. Beautiful. Okay. All right, Vicky, what do you think, Vicky? Are you saying? So, so, teacher. So, so, okay. <laughs> All right. What about you, Jessica? Jessica? I go to, I go to Royal de Cameron. Oh, you, so you've been there to the camera, right? All right. So what do you recommend? Was it one to 10? What do you give? A five, six, seven, nine, or a 10? Okay, get it out. Eight. An eight? Okay, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good then. All right, great. Awesome, awesome. Okay, um, let's continue. And what is today's date? La fecha de hoy. Who wants to say it? Juan José, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Juan José. Thursday, August 26, 2021. Okay, can you repeat it, please? Thursday, August 26, 
2021. Okay, all right. Thursday, August 26, 2021. Okay, great, great. Today is class number 16. Okay, ya casi terminamos. Nos quedan, después de hoy nos quedarían cuatro. Okay, prácticamente tres, porque la última sería uh, donde hacemos la encuesta. All right. Let me see. All right. Can you go to your manual? Vaya a hacer a su manual. On page 30. 30. Yo estoy viendo el otro yo. 39. 39. Page 39. Thank you, Claire. Page 39. Right. On page 39, this is what you have here. We are going to focus, vamos a enfocar on page 39 and page 40. Okay, page 39 and page 40. So be ready for those. Let me see. Read, please. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, can you read, please? Request. Okay. Request information about travel services and accommodation related to a business trip. Very good. So request information about travel services and accommodations related to a business trip. Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to learn how to ask for information Cómo pedir información, incluso cómo hacer reservaciones, also how to make reservations and accommodations, right? Accommodations related to a business trip. Um, usually go on a business trip. Bueno, yo creo que no la mayoría, casi no, casi no se ve esto en el país, right? Hacer viajes de trabajo, como ir a otros países. ¿Quién ha hecho eso? I'm going to ask, who has done that at work? En su trabajo, ¿ustedes han viajado fuera del país para hacer un, to make a, a business trip, un viaje de negocios? Has anyone done that at your work, de parte de su trabajo? Jorge? Sí, teacher. Okay, you have. Tell me, where? Uh, in, in Colombia. In Colombia? Yeah. Okay. All right, great, great. Mexico. Mexico, awesome. Awesome. Uh, Guatemala, Honduras. So basically, all over Central America, right? In Mexico and South America. Well, that's cool. Yes, that's nice. Thank you, Jorge. All right. Let me see. So we have one. Okay. Let's continue. Let me see. Who wants to read? Get it there. Okay, Lisette. Mark. Mark Travel. Uh, agency. 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 I heard you. All right. How can I help I you? you? Very good. How can oh. I help you? Right. Now here, aquí, it's not a conversation. It is a conversation. Sí, una conversación, but it's related with a phone call. Okay. En usa, es una llamada. At, uh, to a travel agency. Right. Una agencia que? de viaje travel agency let me put my little icon travel agency okay a phone call it's almost like when you call a company and they have a a person that answers the phone or it goes straight to a call center okay so it says agent right el agente the agent remember that el agente agent March Travel Agency. How can I help you? March Travel Agency is the name of the company. 
agencia de viaje de Mark. Okay, Mark's travel agency. How can I help you? Continue, please, Johnny. Okay. Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So, good morning. I need a reservation. Reservation. Palabra principal en, en negrita. A reservation. Una reservación. Right? I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. April 14th. Okay. Sí que es caro ya también. Very expensive in Costa Rica. Okay, let me see. Agent eh, Eloisa. Sure. May I have your name, please? Very good. Sure. May I have your name, please? Um, Victoria. Of course, I am Rosa Puentes. I'm. I'm. Very good. Rosa Puentes. Thank you. Good job, Victoria. Of course. Por supuesto, right? Of course. I'm Rosa Fuentes. Eh, Oscar Ramirez. Can you continue, please? Thank you, Miss Puentes. Who long are you going? How, to how, stay? how, how long are you going to say stay? Very good, excellent, good job. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? How long, right? Cuánto tiempo se va a quedar? Mm, and what does Rosa say, Vicky? I'm going to stay three days. Stay, stay, stay. stay. I'm going to stay three days. Very good, perfect. I'm going to stay three days. Me voy a quedar three días, three days. Um, Coreas. Okay, uh, are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Very good. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking? Remember, non-smoking, prácticamente un cuarto de, de que no se puede fumar y el otro que sí, right? Smoking or non-smoking. Okay, let's continue. Um, David Rivera. Continue, please. Non-smoking, please. Okay, non-smoking, please. All right, great. Misael, continue. Are you going to name the shuttle? Shuttle. Así se lee, verdad? Shuttle. No, no es shuttle. No. no, es shuttle. no. Shuttle, shuttle. Shuttle. Yes, shuttle. Service. All right, very good. Shuttle. Yes, service. shuttle service, right? Shuttle service. The shuttle service is probably esos que son como trenes eléctricos, right? Or, or también pueden ser esos they are also called the, los, como los microbuses que tienen la agencia, que los lleva a donde usted necesita ir. Ok. El servicio de shuttle significa que prácticamente le están dando o proporcionando, ofreciendo, offering the, the transportation. Ok. The transportation. Shuttle service. Let me see. A finish, please. Um, Escobar. Yes, please. Very good. Thank you. Ask about yes, please. Right? Like, yeah, yes, please. So we have here 
a conversation between an agent and a customer, right? Un cliente y un agente. And this is the, the agent and this is Rosa, okay? She's trying to reserve. Single room, single room, okay? Single room is prácticamente para una, una persona, una cama, right? Single room, It's just one person. Now, read the instructions, please, Julio. Okay, Jonathan, can you read, please? Say if the statement below are true or false. Okay, very good. Say if the statements below are true or false. Diga si estas oraciones son true or false. I want you to do them in your manual. Quiero que las hagan en su manual. Based on the writing, right? Basándonos en la, la llamada telefónica aquí. Based on the telephone communication between the agent and Rosa. Rosa, Rosa needs a double room. Rosa is going to stay for three days. Rosa is going to stay in a smoking room. Rosa is going to rent a car at the airport. Based on the conversation. Okay, let me see. Okay, this will be activity number one. Actividad número uno de la unidad cuatro. Activity number one of unit four. Okay, activity number one for unit four. So please send it to me when you finish. Me la manda cuando termina. Teacher, where is the shuttle? Shuttle. Shuttle is when the when the company provides, cuando la compañía le provee a usted. Eh, prácticamente son como microbuses. Ok. Shuttle service. A veces transporte regular, pero prácticamente son microbuses para las maletas. And they provide you with a shuttle service. Servicio de la empresa. Okay. okay, thank you. Remember that uh, también esto de shadow service es prácticamente eh, para que usted no tenga que dar las vueltas, ellos lo llevan. ¿Dónde quiere ir? Pum, al hotel. ¿Dónde quiere ir al aeropuerto? Pum. Uh, every part that you need to go, they will take you. ¿Ok? Eso se llama shadow service. Y sí, sea... no es un renta car como dice en la pregunta 4. Ok, ¿qué dice la pregunta 4? Rosa is going to rent a car in the airport. Mm. Mm. No. Porque aquí no habla de rent a car. So it would be false. Uh -huh. 
E incluso ella no, ella no lo menciona, es la gente lo que lo menciona. Exacto. Exactly, you are correct. You are correct, Vicky. Whenever there is a difference, Vicky, for example, when you rent a car, prácticamente uno mismo tiene que dejar su licencia o cosas así, right? Uh, dar sus documentos for rent a car. But a shuttle service is prácticamente lo, lo agenda la agencia de las reservaciones de hotel y cosas así, o viajes. Yes, thank you. Okay, no problem. Sometimes, like when you get off a plane, they take you, right? They take you to the plane. Also, si tiene que no que ir del aeropuerto un poquito para el avión, they will take you also. Okay, I'm receiving some already. You should be finished already. If you have it, please send it to me when you finish. Now, um, can you read, please, Vicky? Accommodation? Accommodation, a place such as a room in a hotel. 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 No, ho, ho. Hotel. Hotel. Yes. Hotel. Where travelers can sleep and find other services. Find. 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 Other services. Find other services. Excellent. Good job. So this is an accommodation, right? This is an accommodation. Prácticamente el lugar donde uno se va a quedar. Acomodación. The accommodation is basically a place where you are going to stay, whether it's a room or a hotel or a motel, wherever, right? Wherever, <clears throat> wherever you can uh, stay for the night or for a few days and, and find other services. Encontrar otro servicio. Jonathan. Amenities. Okay. The features of the hotel that are... Okay, available. Available for guests to use, for example, a gym, a pool, a mini bar, a jacuzzi, etc. Good job, good job, excellent. Yes, amenities in plural, right? The features, the features of the hotel, right? That are available for guests to use, para el uso. And those include a gym, a pool, a pool, ¿qué es una pool? Piscina. Very Piscina. good. Very good. Very good. And what, ¿y qué significa features? The features. The features of the hotel. Features. Ok, las características del hotel, right? The characteristics of the hotel. Then we have a pool, a mini bar, and a jacuzzi, etc. Those are the amenities. Let me see. And it also depends which hotel you go to, right? Some hotels provide many services. Some don't. Let me see. Okay. Let's go to the next page. Page 40. Can you read, please? Vamos a ver aquí a Eloisa. Level the picture 
with the corresponding word for, from the box. Very good, from the box. So here we have hotel services and amenities, and you're going to label the pictures. We have some pictures, ahí está en la página 40 de su manual, on page 40 of your manual. We have some pictures here, okay? There are two, four, six, there's eight pictures, okay? Now, let's look at these. Shuttle service. Shuttle service, right? Servicio shuttle. Ya le mencioné que era shuttle. Single room. What is a single room? Habitación uh, sencilla. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? For one person. Or just a one bed. Sencilla, right? Single room. Next one. Um, wake up call. What is a wake up call? Llamada de atención. Mm. Para levantarme temprano y no dormirme. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wake up call es esa llamada que usted le puede dejar a recepción que les diga, miren, necesito que me levanten. Es la llamada que, de, que levanten a la persona. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is a wake up call. Wake up call. Okay. Como de despertarme. Mira, me despiertan a tal hora, le dice usted, right? Y le va a caer la llamada. Right? Si usted le dice, quiero que me, que me, que me llamen a las ¿qué? 6, 7 de la mañana. And they're going to call you, right? Brrr, brrr, right? And that's going to be, oh, yes, hello, oh, wake up call. Wake up call, okay, thank you. Y ya uno se levanta y se prepara, right? Wake up call. Tienen ese servicio, muchos muchos uh, hoteles. Okay, let me see. Next one, Wi-Fi internet, right? Wi-Fi internet. Okay, Wi-Fi internet. And then, I remember <laughs> Wi-Fi internet, right? I remember when, uh, when I had to go to San Salvador, right? Tuve que ir a San Salvador para adquirir mi acreditación con ISAFOR, right? Y la parte didáctica de una semana me tuve que quedar allá, right? And my first day, it was like, oh man, I drove, manejé, I drove from San Miguel to San Salvador, right? And I was looking for a hotel. Y el primero que encontré cerca de ahí, de los establecimientos, ahí me quedé y resulta que no tenían wifi and i was like oh no <laughs> so i stayed just one night one night and then i had to go somewhere else because they didn't have wi-fi right i was like hey no they don't have wi-fi no no i tenían todo lo demás menos wi-fi i was like no way no way here all right so some places do not have wi-fi right some places do not have wi-fi but then I found other other places where she didn't have Wi-Fi, so I stayed the week. Let me see, business center, business center. Okay, what is a business center? Centro de negocios. Okay, very good, very good. Sometimes when we refer to a business center in a hotel. Tienen una área específicamente para, um, para que usted haga sus trabajos administrativos, okay? I have seen some, right? I have seen some where they have tables and they have screens and in pantallas and everything where you can actually do video conferences, right? Video conferences. A lot of places like um, Tropical Inn, all right. Let me see. Okay, fridge in the room. Fridge in the room. Fridge in the room means que tienen una pequeña refrigeradora. In the room. Fridge. Fridge. Short, but a fridge is basically the top part. La parte arriba de una refrigeradora. That is the fridge. All right. 
pero le decimos fridge a todo aquello que ella, <ríe> prácticamente. So you can pretty have a small one, right? No es que le va a congelar, hacer hielo, ¿verdad? Pero you can keep everything cold. The fridge. A safe. What is a safe? Seguridad. O, mm. o como, como caja de seguridad. Caja fuerte. Yes, exactamente. Caja fuerte. Yes. A safe es una caja fuerte. Some hotels do have safes. Si tienen caja fuerte. Algunos. Right. Laundry service. Laundry service. Servicio de lavandería. Okay, so they can have a washer or a dryer, right? They tienen una lavadora o secadora. A laundry service. Or they pick up the clothes, recogen la ropa y se la lavan a usted. And then they bring it to you. Se la traen de nuevo, ya lavadita, dobladita y todo. So they do have, some places do have a laundry service. So I want you to put, coloquen, where these vocabulary words or services go in your manual. This one you do not have to send it. <clears throat> Esta no me la tienen que mandar. I'm going to give you a few. I'm going to call. Lo que sí voy a hacer es llamar a algunos de ustedes. I'm going to call on eight. Voy a llamar a ocho personas, ocho estudiantes. I will call on you. And you're going to give me the number. Me van a responder con el número y el in the vocabulary when I call your name. So I'm going to give you like two minutes to do this activity. Okay, who has finished? Okay, you're still working. Finished. Okay, thank you. Finished. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, great, awesome. Finish teacher. All right, great. Awesome. Finish. Great.
Okay. The next activity, we are going to do it. Creo que aquí hay muy poquita información para hacer la actividad siguiente. Okay. Because it says, um, let me, let me pagar aquí un micrófono. All right. Let's see. The next activity consists of doing like una simulación, a simulation about a trip that you might want to take in the future. And you have to include words from the box and include your own y sus propias. So, but before we do this activity, this is su turno, your turn, I'm going to share with you different, uh, vo more vocabulary words and some stories alrededor del mundo. Que la, la, quiero compartir con ustedes. I want to share with you. Um, but before we begin this activity, I'm going to call on eight people to give me the answers. Que me den la respuesta de estas ocho. To give me the answers of these eight. Okay. Um, David Rivera. Yes, number one. Yes. Wake up, call. Very good, excellent, excellent. Eloisa. Me escuchó antes, ¿no? No, tenía apagado. Ah, perdón, perdón. Okay, number two, laundry service. Very good, excellent, excellent. Next one, um, Lisette. Oh, Argueta dijo. All right, go ahead, Argueta. The fridge in the room. Okay. Number three, fridge in the room. Fridge in the room. Okay, remember, quiero que me digan el número, okay? Oh, sorry, teacher. Three, fridge in the room. Okay, very good. Thank you, Argueta. Next one. Lisette. No. Number four, business center. Very good, excellent. Oscar Ramirez. Safe. Huh? Number five is safe. Okay, very good. Thank you. That is correct. Next one, Vicky. It, it is a single room. Okay, number six. Single room. Number six, single room. Excellent. Thank you, Vicky. Next one. Jonathan. Number seven, shuttle service. Very good. Excellent. Correa's final. Number eight, uh, Wi Fi internet. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Those are the correct answers. Very good. That was simple, right? It's just simple. But here, aquí es donde vamos a poner en práctica everything. But first, let's look at some. I found this, let me see, weird hotels. Vean este tema, weird hotels. ¿Qué quiere decir weird? ¿Alguien? ¿Quién lo busca mientras yo hago aquí? A ver quién se rebusca, dame la correct answer. What is weird? Hotel extraños. Extraños. Exactly, yes. Extraños, como like weird, like what? I fue out of this world, right? Fue de lo común, right? Outside of the common hotels. So I want to share this with you so you can see from different parts of the world, all right? From Finland, Finlandia, Sweden. Bolivia and Great Britain. But first, let me, before we do this activity, I'm going to, yeah, están los precios también. They have the prices of the hotel. So I wanted to share that with you. But first, let's do the second attendance. Trinidad. 
present. All right. Alejandro. Present teacher. Eloisa, thank you. Present. All right, thank you. Efraín. Present. All right, thank you. Gustavo. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Um, Johnny. Present. Okay, thank you. Jonathan. Present. All right. Jorge. Present. All right. Jose Argueta. Present. All right. Jose David Rivera. Present. Thank you. Jose Escobar. Present. All right. Thank you. Julio. No, no. Juan Jose Conrado. Present. All right. Thank you. Julio. Merino. Present. All right. Thank you. Misael. Present. All right. Thank you. Oscar Correas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Ramirez. Present, teacher. All right. Great. Rosa Lisset. Present. All right. Vicky. Present, teacher. Okay. Great. Victoria. Present. All right. Awesome. And Jessica. Present. Okay, tenemos 100% ahorita. Yes. All right, great. Están todos aquí. Oh, 20. 20 participants are in class. Más yo 21. Estamos complete. Complete. Okay, let's continue. I want to share this with you, right? Um, so we can, so we can learn something outside, fuera de lo común, outside of the common common hotels that we might, I, it was interesting to me, right? Interesante para me uh, read this. And when I saw it, I was like, hmm, this might be nice. So it says weird hotels, right? Salt Palace. Salt Palace. And he put it, the sea. Can someone tell me what is Salt Palace? Palacio de Sal? Yes, exactly. All right? That's what it means. Where is it located? Where is it? Is it in El Salvador? Bolivia. All right, Bolivia. Yes, it's in Bolivia, right? Yes. Now, this hotel is un hotel. All right, it's a hotel. Can you read, please, Eloisa, ya que lo mencionó? Yes. Salt Palace is the name of the hotel in Bolivia. And the name promise not too little because the hotel is actually made of salt. It is a large luxury Hostel with sixteen rooms, each with with its own bathroom and solarium. Okay. One million salt blocks were used here. Okay, one million salt salt blocks blocks, right? Blocks. Blocks. Very good. Were used here. What is the price? Eloisa. What is the? Okay, price is the precio price. Uh, <laughs> okay. No sé cómo se okay, one hundred and eight. Ciento ocho. One hundred and eight. eight. Okay, euros. So oh. euro, euros, euros, euros. Euro. Mm -hmm. per, per, per very per good, person. very good. Per person, one hundred and eight um, euros per person. Right now, 
Imagínense usted un hotel de estos, right? Imagine going to a hotel like this that is actually made of salt. Es hecho de sal. Bloques de sal. ¿Cuántos bloques de sal dice ahí? How many? Un millón. Un millón, right? One million. One million salt blocks, right? So quizás serían estos bloques que ven aquí arriba. I don't know, right? But all these are blocks made of salt. And then it has 16 rooms. Este tipo de hotel tiene 16 rooms. 16 habitaciones. Each with its own bathroom and solarium. ¿Qué es un solarium? Solarium. ¿Alguien sabe? Es baño de sal. Oh. Mm, ok. Thank you. But it's a solarium es aquel uh, cuando uno llega y se broncea. ¿Han visto en las películas o en algunos lugares que uno se acuesta y le cierran la tapadera? They close the lid. Cama okay. solar. Yes, there you go. Exactamente, Ramírez. That is correct. Right. Por eso llamamos solarium, solar. Solarium. So, $108. $108 euros. Quizás serían como unos ciento, maybe $120, maybe $125, maybe. Somewhere around there. Not bad, not bad, okay? Next one, that is in Bolivia, right? So, si quieren ir a Bolivia, look in a salt palace. <laughs> All right, no, dice Johnny. Para que hay mejores por 100 dólares, right? Okay, let me see who wants to read the next one. The Tree Hotel. ¿Quién quiere leer la otra? Tree Hotel. Me teacher. Okay, Johnny, thank you. Uh, three, hot, three Hotel. Sweden. In, yes. a, in a pine forest near the village Hardas, Hardas, you can rent six rooms. They all hang between the trees. All rooms have Wi-Fi and a private bathroom. Private. 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 Okay. Private. All right. So what is the price? Price? Uh, 590 euros. All right. Very good. <laughs> All right. $590 for this. Lo pueden ver ahí. Parece un UFO, right? Una... Una nave espacial or something like that, right? But it's in the forest. It's in el bosque. It's in the forest in una aldea, right? And you can rent six rooms. There are six of these. They hang from the trees. Cuelgan de los árboles. Our rooms have Wi-Fi and private bathroom. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa Sweden? ¿Qué lugar es Sweden en español? Suiza. All right. Suecia, Suecia. Suecia. Yes, Sweden, right? That is Sweden, Suecia. So if you ever go to Sweden, if you're going to go Sweden and you want to go here, there you have, right? I in el bosque. Next one. Who wants to read the next? Son cuatro. Who wants to read the next one? Who wants to read the next one? Juan José Teacher. Okay, go ahead, Conrado. Okay. Uh, grass eagle, eagles. Igloos, igloos. Igloos, okay. Just uh, say this one, Finland. 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 Yeah, porque okay. ni yo sé pronunciar esto. All right. Finland, <laughs> right? Finlandia, right? Finland, go ahead. Okay. Bye. In the beginning, you see animal renting and handful of snug eagles. Igloos, igloos. I igloos. But when he said his guest stayed in the cool at night to watch the colorful spe spectacle. spectacle. Of the polar night, uh, he he came up with an 
idea. Uh, Hectable glass igloos. Uh, me perdí. Hectable glass igloos. They lie in the world bed and see the beautiful spectacle of nature. Nature. Of nature. Okay, of very nature. good, very good. All right. Now, here's a story about a person in Finland, right? In Finlandia, that he was, he rented allá un iglu, es, de ahí viene la palabra iglu, cuando usted compra un iglu, que para tener las cosas, las, las uh, cosas heladas, el iglu viene de lo que es el, el la palabra iglu del pol, de los polos norte o de las áreas bien frías. En iglu son aquellas casitas que se miran redonditas de cuadritos de hielo. Ok, that's an iglu. Ok, and this person when he was there, he was like, hmm, él miró que los guests, o sea, los visitantes were standing in a cold night por estar viendo la, la, la naturaleza de polar de, de, de noche. And then he came up with the idea to create heatable glass. Y convirtió uno de vidrio with heat, con calor. So they were like, hey, cool. The price, 400, uh, 336 to 406 euros. Okay, the last one. Who wants to read the last one? La última. Argueta. Okay, Argueta. Uh, number four. No man's fourth. Great Britain. Okay, Great Britain. Britain. Great Britain. Very good. Is run for the was built in the late 18th centuries. The pro, the protect. No, no, to protect. To protect the city of the Portsmouth for the French invasion. From, from a French. From a French invention. Today, there is the night club. There is a. There is a night club in the Whirlpool. And Whirlpool. And Whirlpools. Okay, very good. So here, it's like a little place right here. Que era como un trabajo. It used to be for protection, probably military, right? Quizás militarizada at one point from French invasion in Gran Britannia. But later, today, look what it is. It's like a big nightclub, right? Big place so you can have fun and whirlpool. Whirlpool son como esas uh, where you can get in the water. And they're like, shh, como tina grandes and stuff like that, right? Almost like swimming pool and whirlpool, right? But it's a big nightclub. Look at that. En medio del océano. <laughs> right? In the middle of nowhere, right? That's the middle of nowhere. So I wanted to share this with you so you can get uh, reading activities and a little bit more, more vocabulary. Now, the next part. Okay, these are... This is vocabulary. Look at this. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Next one. Quien quiere leer la segunda? Uh, Oscar Coreas. Okay. Doctor. Open request. Very good. Y aquí estamos viendo lo que es la parte de hoteles. Right? The part of hotels, the services, the amenities, lo que hablamos de amenities, lo que está en la página 40, around page 40 of your manual. Pero aquí les estoy expandiendo más. I'm expanding your vocabulary. Okay. Doctor, upon request, hay lugares que tienen doctor. Si usted le pide un, me necesito un doctor ahorita, me está doliendo el pie. They will, they will get you a doctor at the, at the hotel. So important. Next one. Snack bar. Snack bar. What is a snack bar? Nada que ver con un bar, right? What is a snack bar? A snack bar is a place mm -hmm. donde están como las galletas, donde, 
the good, the sweet stuff, okay? Como la, como la cámara de monedas. All right, is this a snack bar where they have like cookies, maybe ice cream, candy, right? At the hotel, the snack bar. Maybe chips, quizás, uh, churritos, stuff like that. Okay, next one, uh, Jorge. Uh, rent a car. Yes, all right. So here we have what is called a car rental, all right? Where you rent a car. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to pay attention to these, okay? Quiero que le pongan atención, no tome nota, porque al final de esto van a crear su propio, your own, que es lo que desean ustedes cuando vayan a viaje. ¿Ven a est estas dos personas aquí? Imagínense que son ustedes. Right? Imagine that these are them, y qué es lo que usted va a querer cuando llegue a ese hotel. All right? So remember, voy a pedir como unas 10 a 15 en su lista, de 10 a 15 en la lista. Estas y las que están en la página 40. Right? De aquí pueden repetirse, pero les estoy expandiendo. All right, next one. Similar a lo que vimos. What is this? Otro nombre? This is another name. Eloisa. Safe deposit box. Very good. Safe deposit box, right? Safe deposit box. Una caja fuerte de depósito también se le puede llamar. All right, continue, Eloisa. Library. Library, right? Una biblioteca, una librería, right? Very good. Continue. Gym and spa. Very good. Gym and spa. Gym is gimnasio and spa. Spa, donde uno se va y le ponen las la burbujas en el agua, right? You're like, right? And la spa, right? So that is gym and spa. Continue. Eloisa. Satellite TV. Okay. Satellite. Satellite. TV. All right. Repeat. Satellite TV. Very good, right? Televisión satelital, right? Yeah. Big old satellite TV, right? with everything, all the channels of the world, right? Okay, thank you, Eloisa. ¿Quién quiere seguir? Who wants to continue? Okay, si nadie va a continuar, entonces... No, okay. Go ahead. Mi, Trin. Yes, Trinidad. Outdoor playground. Okay, outdoor playground. Many hotels para... Um, uh, acomodar a los niños, right? Outdoor playground. Un columpios y todo eso para los niños, right? Algunos todavía grandes piensan que todavía ahí andamos también, right? Como niños, right? Eh, ensuciándonos y enlodándonos. All right, continue, Trinidad. Parking area. area. Parking area. area. Parking area. All right, so we have a parking area, right? Muchos lugares a veces tienen poquito parqueo, pero aquí grande, right? Parking area. Continue. Meeting room. Very good. A meeting room. Sometimes hotels provide services, eh, unos servicios que dan, por ejemplo, para ejecutivos que quieren quedarse en el hotel y les acomodan, right? O ya tienen las instalaciones para que hagan sus reuniones eh, administrativas de negocios. Meeting room. Continue. Air conditioning. Very good. Air acondicionado, right? That is important. For me, it's important, right? Uh, yo no me podía quedar sin aire. Okay. Go ahead, Trinidad. Continue. Massage. 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 Right? Massage, prácticamente servicio de masajes. Right? I want massage. Yeah, yeah, I need one. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and massage, right? Massage. Has anyone ever gotten professional massages? Han recibido usted masajes profesionales? No? They're yeah. good. Se los recomiendo. Yes, they're good. They're good. Bueno. Mm. 
algunos sí salieron buenos, así que, y otro que me jaló hasta los, me sentía que me rapaba las manos, right, good massage, let me see, ok, continue Trinidad, room service, very good, room service, room service es servicio a, a la habitación, por ejemplo, usted aprieta el botoncito, le llama, el room service, y ahí va corriendo con la comidita, lo que sea, lo que usted desea, ya sea champagne, wine, eh, eh, food, cake, whatever you like, room service, o incluso que le vengan a arreglar el cuarto, o limpiarse, that's room service, servicio de, de cuarto. Continue. 24 hour reception. Very good, 24 hour reception, right? Eh, recepción las 24 horas, significa que hay alguien siempre en el escritorio. All right, go ahead. Travel desk. Travel desk. Some hotels, algunos hoteles le, le proporcionan lo que es un travel desk. Significa que si usted lo solicite, se lo traen. Un escritorio. ¡Plup! Para que usted trabaje con su laptop o things of that nature. Con lamparita y todo, right? That's a travel desk. Se le llama travel desk porque es movible. O sea, se puede mover rápidamente y doblar y armar. Ok, thank you Trinidad. Who wants to continue? Mi teacher. Ok, Johnny. Oh. Y, y después, ¿quién seguía después de Johnny? ¿Quién dijo yo? Oí a alguien más ahí. ¿Quién era? Julio. All right, let me see. Ok, Johnny, go ahead. Swimming pool for children. Ok, swimming pool for children. Here, en este aspecto, hay piscinas que son separadas. Ok, there's one for children que es un poquito más pequeña y no tan profunda. All right, they're for children. All right, continue, Johnny. Laundry and ironing service. Ok, laundry and ironing service. Ironing significa el servicio de planchado. Ironing service, ok. Y laundry significa la lavandería, o sea, lavado de ropa. Servicio de lavado y planchado. Very good. Continue, Johnny. Beach, beach towels and umbrellas. Very good. Beach towels. Toallas. Para bañarse y en umbrellas. ¿Qué son umbrellas? Sombrillas. Sombrillas. Very good. Continue, Johnny. Fax and photocopy service. Very good. Some places have a place where you can fax and photocopy server, right? Que le hacen copia ahí o, o le hacen un fax, right? You can do that also. Okay, Julio. Thank you, Johnny. Wi-Fi access and internet corner. Very good, right? Very good. So here we're talking about Wi-Fi and anything related to internet connection. Continue. Baby chair and the and the restaurant at the restaurant. Very good correction. Baby chairs, right? Sillas para niños. Sí, niño. Baby chairs at the restaurant. Continue. Bicycle and motorbike rental. Very good. Some hotels le dicen quieren rentar una bicicleta, yeah, or a motorcycle, right? Very good. And the last one. And shuttle 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 bus. Shuttle. Shuttle. Shuttle bus. Shuttle bus, right? If you guys, you can, digamos que van tres o cuatro de ustedes, dice, quiero el shuttle bus, y ahí llega, ¡fu! Frente del hotel, ¿para dónde va? Y ahí, al aeropuerto, to the airport, um, to the beach, to the restaurant, take us, right? Y ahí lo llevan. Ok, y ahí lo dejan, y ahí lo recogen, sin que usted tenga que andar buscando nada. Right? That is shuttle service or shuttle bus. Now, ok, I hope you took note. Yo les amplié el vocabulario, ¿ok? I know some of you, eso es lo que buscan algunos también, más vocabulario, ampliar el idioma, y aquí se los estoy proporcionando, right? So you can have a better understanding in a wide range of selections. What is that, Eloisa? Is that juice? <laughs> Coca-Cola con la champán, what is that? <laughs> okay, let me see. All right, let me. 
24 fast seed it. Ah, 24. 24. Yes, 24. Yes, 24 services, servicios, right? 24. Yes. Eh, también le podemos llamar amenities, amenities, right? Lo que está en la página 40. Los servicios, right? Lo que proporcionan los hoteles. Amenities. Very, yes, that is correct, Julio. 24. 24. Right, 24. Now, let me see. Okay, stop share. Now, I gave you, ya le di información. I gave you extra information. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to imagine. Se lo voy a escribir. I want you to imagine, quiero que imaginen, primero, imagine, right? Use your, your perception, use your mind, okay? I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine going, going on a trip. Okay. I want you to imagine going on a trip. This is going to be for one minute. Okay. One minute. Mm, no. No. Lo voy a ampliar. Lo veo muy sencillo. Le di mucha información para un minuto. I'm going to amplify. Imagine, esto sí, imagine going on a trip. ¿Se acuerdan al inicio lo que les dije? Okay. We're going to a place. Y, Johnny, you were talking about Guatemala and different types of things like that. Right? Pero aquí lo vamos a ampliar. We're going to amplify it. Right? I want you, siempre, you're going to imagine going on a trip. Now, if you already have, si ya tienen un lugar, como mencionaron temprano, you can give me that place. Or you can imagine, imagínense uno. France, Spain, Costa Rica, uh, Argentina, Brazil, uh, any place in the world, right? Any place in the world. Imagine, right? Imagine this is van. Where? Donde? Where? What are you going to do? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Right? If, if I say, oh, I'm going to Cancún. Okay, ¿qué voy a ir a hacer yo allí? Si yo digo, voy a Cancún, ¿qué voy a hacer yo? What am I going to do in Cancún? Right? Am I going to the beach? Am I going to, right? Where am I going? And then I want you to name a hotel. Cuando usted dice, voy a tal lugar, ¿Y dónde se va a quedar? I'm going to stay, right? O sea, para algunos, antes de decir, me voy a quedar, I'm going to stay, y luego van a nombrar el hotel. Name of hotel, right? Me voy a quedar en tal, tal y tal hotel, hotel right? I'm going to stay at uh, Tropical Inn. I'm going to stay at Holiday Inn. I'm going to stay at Sheraton Hotel. You, you give me a name, okay? What? What services?
Okay. What services? Que servicios, right? Ya vimos un montón en amenities. Amenities, which you like. Right? Ya miramos los servicios, los amenities, right? Ya sea un servicio o, o amenities puede ser como el, el escritorio, right? Eh, eh, la baby chairs, the swimming pool, esos son amenities. Y los servicios pueden ser como el shuttle, right? El uh, bus shuttle, the Wi-Fi, those types of uh, wake-up call que le llamen y lo levanten. Those are amenities. Those are uh, services, right? And then you have safes, las cajas fuertes. What, what? I want you to mix. Quiero que mezclan servicios y amenities. O sea, cosas en físico y servicios. ¿Cuántos? How many? I want at least 10. Quiero que pongan 10. So, ustedes van a hacer un, un listado aquí. List. All right? Le puedo dar un ejemplo. So I'm going to imagine, yo me voy a imaginar en um, ¿Y cuánto tiempo? How long are you staying? ¿Cuánto tiempo se va a quedar? How long are you staying? Three days? One week? ¿Qué será? Three days, you decide. Ustedes decidan. These are just examples. Estos son ejemplos. No es que esto es lo que van a hacer. This is just examples. All right, and that is it. So, eso es todo. Two, four, six, seis puntos. Imagine going on a trip. So, ahorita me voy a imaginar yo, boom. Um, I'm going to Afghanistan. Ah, no. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to Panama, right? I'm going to Panama, right? I'm going to Panama. So that's where I'm going. I'm going on a trip. So I imagine it going to Panama. In Panama City. In that's with that Panama City. I'm going to visit all the museums. Voy a visitar todos los museos en Panamá. I'm going to visit all the museums in Panama and I'm going to the beaches of Panama. Y voy a ir a las, a las costas, a los mares, the beaches, las playas de Panama. So I'm going to Panama. I'm going to basically, specifically Panama City. And I'm going to visit all the museums and beaches. I will stay. Me quedaré. I will stay at the Sheraton Hotel. I expect, yo espero, I expect the services, y voy a listar 10. I expect Wi-Fi. I expect massage, a massage. I expect a bar. I expect air conditioning. And I, I want shuttle services. I want... One bedroom, one bedroom uh, room. I want a uh, bilingual person to be at the desk, right? At the desk. Quizás el piso que sea bilingual in English and Spanish. Ya dije siete ahí, right? Seven. I want um, a fridge in the room. I want, I want it to have a gym and spa. I will stay in Panama for four days. I will stay in Panama for four days. Yes, so. If you want to add more, si le quieren agregar más, you can. All right. Eh, con quien va a ir, si quieren, o va a ir en carro, en bus, en avión, you can say that too. Okay. You can add more. No, no es que están cerrados a esto. You can add more if you want. Okay. Esto es el, el enfoque. This is the focus of the conversation. And what are you going to do? Lo voy a poner en grupos. All right. So you can speak with one another. I'm going to give you a few minutes 
les voy a dar un, unos minutos para que formalicen su estructura. So you can be ready to say it in a conversation with your classmates. For example, si yo pregunto ahorita, Johnny, where are you going, Johnny? Oh, I'm going to Guatemala. Oh, yeah. Where in Guatemala? Where in Guatemala? Guatemala City. Okay. All right. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to um, the zoo. Okay, the zoo. Okay. Where? What? What hotel are you? Are you going to stay? Can you give me the name of the hotel? Uh, America's Hotel. Okay. Great. Great. What services? Which and, and amenities would you like? Si ustedes pueden ver, estoy haciendo las preguntas que están aquí. Eso es lo que van a hacer ustedes. All right. What services and amenities would you like? Okay. Um, let's see. Wi-Fi. Okay. A safe. Okay, a safe. Uh, uh, pooling. Uh, no, pool. A pool. A pool, pool. Pool. A pool, okay. Una piscina, all right. What else? Uh, delicious food. <laughs> okay. Room service or buffet or something, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. How long are you staying? How long are you staying, Johnny? Uh, only two days. Only two days, all right. So, allí pueden agregar ustedes, por ejemplo, are you flying or driving? Uh, driving. Ah, okay, all right. So, y ahí pueden agregar de ustedes, por ejemplo, are you going by yourself, alone, or with family? Ah, uh, I'm going to go with my wife. Okay, great. So, you're going with your wife. So, así estamos, ¿qué? Conversando a la misma vez, hablando de un viaje. Right? We are talking about a trip going on a trip. So this is basically it, right? Así de simple como lo hicimos ahorita con Jan. Right? You're going to ask the questions. Ustedes le van a hacer las preguntas al compañero o compañera y después ese mismo compañero o compañera se lo va a hacer usted. Right? So be ready. I'm going to give you like five minutes para que encuentren un lugar específico, un país y el lugar específico. Right? For example, El Salvador, where? San Salvador, La Unión, La Libertad, where? El Tunco, where? where? Right. Y pueden inventar el nombre del hotel también. You can, you can invent the name of the hotel. So I'm going to give you a few minutes. If you have any questions, I'm going to give you five minutes. Le voy a dar unos cinco o seis minutos so you can get everything ready. And then I'm going to put you in groups. So you can ask the question. If you have any questions, si tienen una pregunta, you can ask me. Esto tiene, esto está relacionado con la página 40, actividad 6 y 7 de su manual. All right. Ahí prácticamente es hacer lista, pero yo quiero que hagan una lista y que lo hablen. Speak. Speaking. Entonces, so, si pueden ver su manual. Page 40. Es related to that. If you need to see... Alguien que quiera ver la lista que yo les puse aquí en la pantalla o la captaron, le tomaron captura. Ya took a picture. Nadie la necesita. Ok. So, concentrate and busquen ahí en Google un lugar o something. O or if you already have your own, si ya tienen su propio lugar ya destinado, you can do that also, right? Aquí es donde ustedes pueden imaginarse y salir con la pura mente. Cualquier lugar que ustedes desean.
today, um, ¿quién se queda hoy? Oscar Ramirez. Okay, tomorrow. Mañana viene Rosa Lisset. Okay, you stay tomorrow and then Monday, Vicky. Monday, Vicky, and then Tuesday, Victoria, and Jessica, the last day, el último día. El último día de clase es el miércoles. Last day of class.
Okay, I'm going to give you about one more minute. You should be almost finished. So I can put you in breakout rooms. Okay, time's up. We are going to begin. And I want you to be ready for this practice. Okay? I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Does anyone have back connection? Alguien tiene mal conectividad? O no puede hacer acti esta actividad, por favor, díganme en este momento. Please let me know at this moment. No quiero que alguien esté allí y me diga, teacher, la otra persona no, no, no lo escucho, no, no, no está. All right. For this activity, it's, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, it's cara a cara, so I want you to turn your cameras on. Van a prender las cámaras. Eh, voy a poner aquellos en grupos, aquellos que tienen las cámaras encendidas. Alright. Si no la enciende, se va a quedar aquí conmigo y la vamos a hacer aquí hablando entonces. Alright. If you... Alright. Ya voy a empezar a poner en grupo. Let me see. Nine. I'm going to be in two in bodies. Okay, two people. Let me see. One group is going to have three. Let me see. All right. Jonathan. Jose, Daniel, Argueta, Gustavo, Gerardo, Efraín, Alejandro, Jessica. Eh, si no encienden las cámaras, lo voy a dejar aquí, eh, aquí en, en la main session. Y a los demás los voy a poner en grupos. ¿Ok? Por favor, enciendan las cámaras. Recuerden que es un requisito también encender las cámaras, pero en este momento la estoy pidiendo para esta actividad. Ok, voy a cambiar esto entonces, ya que no quieren encender las cámaras. No problem. Si tienen dificultad, nomás me tienen que decir. 
Pero como no lo dice, lo voy a hacer manualmente. All right. Room number one, voy a estar asignándolo basado a lo que tienen. Johnny, usted ya la tiene encendida. Great, you're in room number one. Johnny and Eloisa. Ok, ya voy a empezar a poner los ejemplos para no estar atrasando los que no quieren, los que sí tengan la cámara encendida. Ok, Johnny and Eloisa, you're in room number one. Eh, ¿Quién sigue aquí en mi lista? Coreas. En David Rivera. Coreas. Oscar Coreas. Y David Rivera. All right, room number three. Julio. All right. All right. And. Let me see who else is right here. Chimala Tene. Julio. And. Ramirez. All right, room number four. Let me see. Vicky. Okay. Yes, and you. And let me see if I can open it. Alejandro, no? Yes. All right. Right. You're in group number four, and then. Let me see, Lisette. Okay, I'm going to put you with Trinidad. Teacher, teacher, no le escuché, solo dijo Julio y quien más, teacher. And Ramirez, Oscar Ramirez. Okay, room number six is going to be, let me see, okay, Efraín, you got your camera on. All right. I'm going to put you with, Jonathan. Let me see if it's turned on. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let me 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 see. All right. There you go. You have it ready. Y se queda conmigo Argueta and Gustavo. Y a mí con quien me dijo, teacher, que no okay. escuché. Okay, Vicky, you are with Alejandro. And I'm going okay. to put you with... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, let me see. Jessica, ¿ya encendió la cámara o no? Let me Okay. Yes. Okay. Ahí la veo. Okay. Entonces la voy a poner usted con... Ahí con Vicky. All right. Great. Okay. All of you have the cameras. Do this activity. I see you. Los que no tienen la cámara, pues aquí se van a quedar conmigo. Eh, y los demás, breakout rooms. Juan José, eh, let me see. All right. Please enter breakout rooms. No sé, siento que le falta. David Rivera. Name is the 
Real thing resort. Real thing resort. Real thing resort. Ah, thing. what is what is the amenities of the whole hotel? Swimming pool, <laughs> Wi-Fi, and laundry service. The Wi-Fi. Sí. Teacher, ¿me escucha? Yes. Ok. David, ¿me escucha? Va. Sí, sí, hoy sí. Yes. Ok. Eh, David, eh, iba a empezar. Ok. Va. Le pregunto. Hello. Teacher. Hey, hello. Quizá no quería participar a Argueta, le, le pregunté y se salió de una. Ok, no problem. All right. Pero igual, yo tengo mi actividad acá. All right. Solo que, bueno, vea la cámara, no sé si me puede visualizar. Estoy de mi, de mi combo, pero se ve como súper mal. Ah, uh, ok. Si quieres. Pero, igual, yo tengo la actividad lista. All right, Solo great. Que, Right. Eso sí es práctico con usted. Exactly, aquí con gusto, no hay ningún problema. All right. Let me okay. see. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask you, um, I'm going to ask you, Gustavo, where, where are you going? Where are you going, Gustavo? I'm going Honduras. To Honduras. To Honduras. All right, great. All right. Where in Honduras? I am going to uh, Roatan. Roatan. All right. Great. All right. I've never been to Roatan. Right? Roatan. Right? Uh, let me see. What are you going to do, Gustavo? I am going to visit a uh, I'm going to visit. Uh, I'm going to visit. Uh, the capital. Okay. And the capital. Capital and B, B, B. The beach. The beach. All right. Great. Great. And see, come on. Conocer o ver los delfines. Ok, ok. See the dolphins. See the dolphins. See the dolphins. Very good, very good. Okay, entonces sería nuevamente. I am visit uh, the capital mm -hmm. and, be, and see the dolphins. See the dolphins? Yes, see the dolphins. Um, okay, great. What um what hotel are you staying in? What hotel? I'm Hotel Barcelo. Or Barcelo. Okay. All right, all right. Um what services and amenities would you like? This is your list, right? What service? Service number one, swimming pool. Okay. And a snack bar. A snack bar, all right. And air conditioning. Okay, air conditioning, perfect. Bicycle and motorbike rental. Okay, bicycle. bicycle. Bicycle and motorbike rental. Exactly, perfect. And parking area. Okay, parking area. And laundry and ironing service. All right, great, great. And Wi Fi internet. <laughs> wi Fi <laughs> internet, yeah. Don't be like me, right? When I went over there, and there was no Wi Fi, right? Uh huh. That's it. And wake, wake up call. A wake up call, right? Hey, it's, it's time to wake up, right? Gustavo. Right. 
Disfrutar right. más. Yeah, to enjoy more, that is correct. Okay. All right. How long are you staying? I um, stay um, two weeks. All week. right, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, great. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. Okay, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the beach and everywhere, right? All right, that was awesome. That was great. I'm going to close. Para regresar a los demás. Right, that was um, that was very good. That was very good, Gustavo. Excellent. That was perfect. Great. That was perfect. Good job. Good job. That's what I expected. Right. Eso es lo que espero. Very good. Excellent. All right. Let me see. Welcome back, everyone. And all right. So we have everyone back. All right. Let me see. Muy poco tiempo. Les di prácticamente uh, siete yeah. minutos. Seven okay. minutes. Acabamos de llegar a Colombia con otro. <laughs> yo, yo me quedé con, con aquí hablando con Gustavo, right? Con Gustavo, right? So he, we, we're doing the activity with him, right? Um, but, okay, it was great. It was great. I travel. All right, so. All right, the next no class. Yes, okay. <laughs> Tomorrow, if you want, we can continue, okay? Pueden continuar y ampliar, right? quizás cambiar otra change another city or place, y vámonos a otro lugar. Let's go somewhere else, okay? Pueden ir a Cuba, a cualquier lugar que ustedes quieran, ¿no? una isla. Yeah, thanks, teacher. China, Taiwan, <laughs> wherever, right? China, right? wherever. We can do that tomorrow, okay? So, very good, very good. Good job. Now, I'm going to... Huh? Tomorrow, teacher, I wait till tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, all right, no problem. We can go. I don't want to recoger a todos, right? No, vamos a ir de viaje. Right? <laughs> I pay for everything. All right? All right. Let me see. Trinidad? You pay. All right. Thank you. Alejandro? Present. All right, Eloisa. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Gerardo, Efraín. Present. Thank you, Gustavo. Present, teacher. All right, Johnny. Present. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Present. All right, Jorge. Present. Okay, Jose Argueta. Jose Argueta, okay, no problem. Salió. Jose Rivera. Present. All right, thank you. Jose Escobar. Okay, salió. Juan Conrado. Present. All right, thank you. Julio. Present. Okay, Misael. Present, teacher. Okay, Oscar Correas. Present. All right, Oscar Ramirez. Present, teacher. Okay, Rosa Lice. Present, teacher. Okay, Vicky. Present teacher. All right, great. And Victoria? Present. All right, and Jessica? Present. All right, all right. So I see you tomorrow. We can do this activity again, and that way you can enjoy another trip, okay? Give you more time. All right, so I see you The only person that stays is um, Oscar Ramirez. Ask over mirrors, no más. All right, everyone, good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. All right, good night. see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Bye -bye. Good night. Take care. All right, you too, Julio. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Hi, welcome. Okay, ya le moví a los demás. All right, great. It's just you oh. and me right here. You're 10 minutes. So tell me. Uh, 
No. Please. Ah. Uh, <risa> <risa> es que visita, dije. Yeah, lo, se puede ver allá atrás. Eh, eh. Sí, hace un poco estaba solo, pero ya, ya tengo. <risa> ya no. Dijo, uh, gato, tengo un gato. <risa> es, eh, teacher, uh, no le. Ajá. No, le, no le miento, pero este, este módulo, eh, sí me, eh, con el, el inicio, me he quedado algo, algo perdido. Sí, te, sí, sí le entiendo un, un poco, pero, pero me he quedado con, con los temas eh, principales, eh, porque, como le digo, eh, eh, hay algunas cosas que son, son, son nuevas. No, para mí, porque el cool y el good, eh, yo no lo había. Cool you mean y el good, oh, creo que es el cool you y el cool you mean. ¿Qué página? ¿Qué página? Ahorita le digo que creo que está en la unit 2. Unit 2, unit 2, I think, o unit 3. El, el should sí. y el could es en unit 3. Ya, yeah, está el should y el cool y está el... Ahí lo que Would you mind? Would you mind? Yes, page 30, right? Page 30. Mm -hmm. Ok, a página 30. Este. Pero estaba, creo que después. De este. Yeah. Ajá, después de ese sigue el should y el shouldn't, ¿verdad? Okay. El should y el shouldn't, right? Shouldn't. Shouldn't yeah. y el should, shouldn't. Okay. Vale. Eh, yo con este tema no me pude adaptar muy bien. Bueno, me quise adaptar al tema. O sea, no lo, yo lo más que le pude entender que se, sería el culto es como podrías uh -huh. o puedes. Uh -huh. Sería culto si podrías. Could Pero you, se yeah. ocuparía en, en el ambiente laboral, ¿verdad? Claramente que todo esto se... Sí, eh, lo vimos así, pero recuerda, les puse unas actividades yo también, que eran, ah. iban fuera del ámbito laboral también, Exacto. ¿right? Eh, el could es cuando uno puede hacer algo, mira, como decir, si yo quiero decir, mira, ¿me puedes llamar mañana? Could you call me? Uh -huh. Mañana es. Tomorrow. Right? Could you call me tomorrow? Right? Could you, if you're in the ámbito of work, um, could you help me with um, with the photocopies? Me puedes ayudar con las copias. Could you help? Ah. Okay. Es cuando tú estás pidiendo uh, algo. Tú solicitando ayuda o, o en esos términos. Okay. No necesariamente sería, ayuda. Sería cuando necesita uno. Como apoyo de algo o necesita algo que, no sé, algo que le, que le ayuden en algo también, en, como dicen, apoyo o solicitar. Solicitar, solicitar algo. Que, que, que hagas algo. Por ejemplo, could you call me? Right? No estoy pidiendo apoyo, pero te estoy pidiendo como un favor. Mira, me uh, puedes llamar mañana. Yes. yes. Ahora, si me quieres decir, me, me puedes um, uh, dar un vaso de agua. Could you dar un verbo? Could you give me? Give, ah, give me. Mm. Un vaso, a cup. Cup. Ah, o sea, or, cup significa vaso o taza. O taza, yeah. Or, but ah, sí, sí. uh, uh, the, the agua, right? Of water. Could you give me cup, a cup? Of water. Yeah, or glass of water. Ya sería, glass of water. ya sería en uno de vidrio, right? Uh -huh. Cup or glass of water. Yes. Um, cup or glass, una de las dos. Bye. Uh -huh. eh, bye. Ese, en ese ámbito sí lo entendí, ¿verdad? Pero ya... El... Would you mind? Ah, ah cal, good you mind. <laughs> es wood. Wood. Good. Good. Wood. Good? Yes. You mind. Would you mind. Mind. Ah. Esto es cuando tú estás pidiendo una solicitud, pero diferente. Would you mind? Ok, por ejemplo. Um, si tú les quieres, si quieres dar, es una solicitud más amable, pero estás pidiendo el apoyo de la otra persona. Por ejemplo, 
digamos que vas en el bus, right? Imagínate, you're going in the bus, y está lloviendo y la persona tiene la ventana abierta. Oh. Y tú le quieres decir, mire, le molestaría cerrar la ventana, por favor. Would you mean... Would you mind? Go, uh, sorry, would you mind closer oh. the... All right. Huh? Recuerda que cuando usamos el would you mind, Lo el sin. verbo lleva ing. Lo es sin. un... Es un... Uh, um, ¿Cuál es la palabra? Oh, sí. Es un gerundo. Un gerundo. Ya no, ya no va, viene el ver, el, ver el, 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 no viene el, sí. el present continuo, sino que sería un gerundio. Exactamente. Aunque ya va a Entendí. Exactamente, yes. Would you mind closing, closing the window? The window. Ok. Le molestaría cerrar la puerta, right? Mire. Hola. Le molestaría, would you mind closing the window? Mire, le molestaría bajar la voz. Right? Ya would sería you... un poquito más. Más, 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 más como cortés. Cortés. Yes. Ah, como el could you. Podrías. Yeah, este puede. Sería... Mire, sería como decir, tenía tan amable. De, right? Would you mind. Sería tan amable. Ajá. Le molestaría, mire, bajarle un poco. Right? No, no hay ningún problema. No problem, right? No problem. Seri este, el cool you, ¿verdad que se ocupa más cuando hay más confianza con, con la yes. persona? Yes. ¿Verdad que sí? Exactamente. Right? Could you. Exactly. Y el otro es would you. Puede estar el would you también, que es lo mismo, pero un poquito más formal. Pero el Ajá, could you es inter lo puedes utilizar ambos. ¿Ok? Ahora, would ambos. you mind? Would you mind? Ya es ya tiene un poquito más de regla porque el verbo que sí es con ing es un gesto yeah, okay. would you mind mira te molestaría quedarte hoy a, hoy tarde a trabajar te han dicho alguna vez algo así que te ah, quedas, sí. right? entonces would you mind working working late te molestaría late ¿sí? tarde right? working late sí te molestaría working late tarde. oh y qué vas a decir tú no problem. No problem. All right, bye. Así sería el would you mind. Ah, con las, con las respuestas del, del cool you. Uh -huh. Ahí ah. sí, uh, con las respuestas. Ajá, o sea. Ahí de... parece seguro, sure, right? Sure, no problem. También puedes decir no problem, ok? Ah, no problem. importa. O sea, también en would you. Yes. Would you mean? Yes. Se puede decir la misma. Would you oh, mind? Okay. Would no, you no. Mind? Ajá. Would you mind? Eso, very good. Yes, would you mind closing the window? No problem. In a minute. Right away. No problem. Sure. Seguro. Would you mind? No problem. Lo único que eh, aquí puedes responder de forma negativa. Mire, le molestaría cerrar Ajá. la ventana. No, no me molesta. No, no me molestaría. No, no problem. Es, es lo normal que uno responde en español también. Ajá. Si tú no le dicen algo, puedes salir o puedes venir. No, no hay problema, llego o yeah. pásame so, eso. No, no hay Lo mismo en español, paso. lo mismo en español, right? So, yeah, the same thing. So, esta es la única diferencia en la estructura. Que va ING, el verbo, Ajá. y el otro no, el could you. Eh, oh. could you aquí sería could you work, podrías, yes. puedes trabajar tarde. Could you work? Ya lleva el verbo simple. Uh -huh. For Could you work? Base for. Right? Could you work? Like, yes, base for. Exactamente. Puedes trabajar tarde y aquí, mira, te molestaría trabajar tarde. Ella, uh -huh. los hablo, right? Son dos formas diferentes, todo siempre al mismo entorno, right? Sí, al mismo entorno. El requisito, uh, solicitud, right? Está solicitando a alguien. Como aquí, would you mind working late? Or, could you work late, Oscar? Yeah, no problem. Sure. No problem. No problem. Okay, es la única okay. diferencia. Y pero... el, el... Should. Sí. Sí, no le vi. No le eso, eso era mi, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Mi duda era de, del could you y el, y el good you mean. Would pero you ya, mind? ya. You, uh, could you mind. Very good. Eh, pero ahora se viendo... Ahora sí sé cómo, cómo ocuparlo. Yes, exactly. Ah, yo, 
Ajá, yo pensé que, que era uno, puedes, y el otro, podrías, mm. pero no, el ah, otro no, no, significa no, 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 ambas. Ambas. Pero si, las dos significan lo mismo, solo que ya sé que una es más cortés y la otra es como con más confianza, pero igual se puede ocupar las dos. Exacto, son. Pero bien. con otra persona que no se conoce apenas eh, o pedirle algo, pues ya sé que se ocupa el Google. Como, como, como Mai. Exacto, como el ejemplo que te dije del bus, ¿verdad? No conoce yeah. a la persona. Mire, le molestaría. A, a, ser, oh, no, ni, no problem, ¿verdad? Right? Right? Y no le va a decir, ¡ay, cierra la ventana, ¿verdad? <risa> Right. Right. Eh, creo que respondería y solo eh, la dejaría así. Más, más, más la abre. abre. Más la abre. Más la abre. Right. Aquí so, el salador así es. Eh, yeah. Puedes cerrar la ventana. Más la abre. Yeah. Mira, cerrar la ventana. <risa> más la abre. Right. So así le digo. Yeah. So, uh, eh, sure. uh, topic. Eh, uh, y el. Sure, sure. Should. Ok, should, should es during. deberías. Esto es deberías. Cuando uno, cuando uno deberías, ok. Y la deberías. otra, no deberías. No deberías. Ok, so, aquí estamos dando advice, estamos dando consejos, opiniones propias. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, uh, tú deberías aprender inglés. Digamos que tú le dijeras a alguien eso, te le estás dando un consejo, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces tú le vas a decir, you should. ¿Y cómo decimos aprender? Learn. Learning. Learn. No, learn. Learn. English. English. Right? English. Recuerda, el verbo va simple. Después de should. All right? yeah. Y luego, algo que no debería de ser. You uh, shouldn't. You shouldn't pay. Pero este diría en la forma base... Oh, sí, no. ¿verdad? Las dos van en la forma base. Sí. Ok, solo que... Entonces sí, me he equivocado también en esta. Pensé que esta también llevaba el gerundio. No. En, pero no. No. Solo es la otra. Entonces sería... Uh, you shouldn't pay a uh, telephone. Ok, el teléfono. Uh -huh. A telephone uh, muy caro. Ok, uh, an expensive, ex, an expensive, un, un teléfono caro. Uh -huh. Ok, no debías pagar por un teléfono caro. Uh -huh. For, for an expensive phone. Right? Uh, expensive phone. Right? No deberías pagar por un teléfono caro. Right? ¿Qué otro consejo? Uh -huh. uh, si le quieres decir a alguien, uh, ¿no deberías uh, fumar? You shouldn't smoke. Ahí, ahí está. You shouldn't smoke. In the room. In the room. All right, very good. In the room, en el cuarto. ¿Vale? Nada de difícil. ¿Bebes? Shouldn't y luego el verbo simple. Smoke. Yeah, y ahí cualquier cosa, no deberías uh, uh, quedarte despierto, no deberías ver esa película, no deberías salir a la noche, you shouldn't go out at night, you shouldn't drink beer, lo que tú quieras. ¿Sí? El verbo. Muy bien, sí. Simple. Ok. Claro. Ah, entendí clarísimo como el agua. All right, all right, great. All right, yeah. let's see Oscar... Ok. ¿Has finish? <risa> ¿Qué el tiempo? Ah, sí, el tiempo. Sí. Ah, bueno. Ok. Ya tocaron ya otros 10 minutos en otro de... <risa> <risa> el otro módulo. Hazte igual, eh... igual. Si de, de el otro, de, de, mañana o el otro, si nadie se queda, eh, si quieres quedarte, nomás dímelo. Si alguien no se queda y ahí te doy el espacio. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. No problem. Okay. Eh, uh, de aquí al final, eh, yo nomás te digo si te quieres quedar. Ahí, yeah, ahí, uh, ¿Tú me dices? ¿Eh? Uh, estaría bien. Uh, si alguien no, pues, no puede, pues yo me quedo con gusto porque igual quiero seguir okay, viendo no. dudas. Aquel día que, que no faltó alguien, me iba a quedar yo, pero yeah, oh, yeah, tú tú dije yo, no, no más era de preguntarme, ¿verdad? Porque también, ajá, pero dije yo, todavía ay, no me toca. Y, ponerlo así como este. 
te queda ahí, like, ah, ya me ah. di cuenta. Sí, y ah. cuando usted dijo que cualquiera se puede quedar, iba a decir yo, pero cuando yo aprieto el espacio aquí, no me agarra, a veces sí, me quedo hablando solo. Entonces ya había dicho a alguien que se iba a quedar. Ah, dijo, ah ya ves. Y tenía algunas preguntas porque no había entendido. Ah, sí, fue un día que ¿Eh? uno llamé y dije yo, él se queda, pero no está aquí, si alguien más se quiere quedar. Y, y alguien más dijo yo. Tío. Ajá, ¿Eh? exacto. Ajá, yo y... Ah, no, ya lo habían dicho. Y cuando yo dije Ramírez, ya, ya lo habían dicho. Y que al rato mejor apreté la... Usé el, el mouse. Ah, ok. No, so, dije yo ahí. Ok. Ah, pues, entonces, Ajá. si alguien no se queda, pues nomás digo yo, no se va a quedar alguien, tú nomás me dices, teacher, me voy a quedar yo. Ya. Ok, no eh, problema. Ok. Then, teacher, uh, okay. Otra era, bueno, no le quito el tiempo. <risa> bye bye, teacher. Ahí uh, está que cualquier otra duda, pues you can always send me a message, ok? Siempre puedes mandar. Ok, ok, uh, teacher. No problem. Uh, okay, eh, después, otra pregunta. Después de este, de este tercer. De este tercer módulo, porque este es el, el tercero principal. principal. ¿Y el otro sigue? El... Eh, beginner one. El... El, de, el de intermediate. Pas ah, intermediate. Okay. Ah, sería que estos tres son del principal, ya finish. Son básicos, yes. yes. Ah, ya viene. Este es... entregan un certificado. Cuando, Pero, cuando, sí. cuando, uh, a diploma, te dan un diploma. Diploma. All right. diploma. So at the end, when you finish, bueno, terminando aquí el módulo, te va a decir el, 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 la última fase del, del beginner, que es el 3S, y te va a generar el, el, el diploma digital. Ok. Right. Por lo menos, primera vez que voy a tener un diploma, <risa> y, y por lo menos, los temas que he visto, puedo. Okay, right, right. De que he visto, ahora yo puedo formular frases, puedo, no hablar exactamente porque todavía el vocabulario y me falta un montón, pero para eso se sigue aprendiendo. En cambio, cuando estuve en la otra academia, tanto diploma, tanto diploma, que estaba incómodo tener diplomas de gusto porque no pasaba del, del principiante, llegaba al medio y yo sin. Right. Pero igual, ya hace años, pero por primera vez voy a tener un diploma y decir, me lo merezco. Yeah, de que, de, bueno. y como soy exigente también, right? So, eh, that's the important thing, right? No los dejo que se vayan muy allá, aquí ya, right? So, all right, Oscar, eh, admiro tu, tu, tu esfuerzo siempre en uh, continue, ¿ok? Continue, right? Yeah, teacher, right. thanks. Thank you. Important. Eh, sí, algunas veces me quedo corto con las tareas también, es porque, no le voy a mentir, eh, eh, yo irme muy al largo, yo puedo ver el módulo, pero hay veces no lo entiendo. Entonces mejor me espero la clase para yo después hacerla. Porque es mejor ya así, porque hay algunos que en la clase, como le dije la vez pasada, ya saben, ya está en un alto nivel más que uno y uno apenas va levantándose. Pero mejor a mí me gusta mejor ir con la clase y la tarea, aunque pudiera ir así. Pero, right. eh, bueno, okay. mejor cuando uno no sabe. A darse una reempujadita, dijo. Por eso <risa> yo voy siempre y a lo último siempre las hago porque igual <risa> no quiero okay. que aparezca mi nombre en la lista. No, espero que este, este cuarto bueno. nadie salga como la 3, right? Como en la semana 3 de esta, ¿a ver? Uf. So. No. <risa> All right, great. Bueno, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Oscar. See you tomorrow. See bye you. bye. Bye bye. <risa>